Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, as we are getting set for the 2023 Daytona 500, uh, we are doing champion profiles, we are doing topic videos, and we are doing driver profile videos as we count down ever so close to the 2023 Daytona 500. Today, we celebrate the 75th anniversary of NASCAR. So why not do a driver profile of the second fourth generation NASCAR driver to start in the Cup Series? Now, if I'm wrong by him being only the second fourth generation driver, please let me know. I know the Petties, Lee Petty, Richard, Kyle, and Adam was the first. And then we have Ralph, Dale Earnhardt Sr., Dale Earn or Kerry Earnhardt, and then Jeffrey Earnhardt, the four Earnhardts to be the fourth generation to race in the Cups. Jeffrey Earnhardt, born June 22nd, 1989. He does have an older brother that did race part-time. We had Bobby Dale Earnhardt. Um, now, Bobby, da Bobby Earnhardt, Jeffrey's, has, Jeffrey's brother. So Jeffrey's nephew, Braylon Earnhardt, drives in a mill bridge there. I think he's one class lower than what Braxton Bush is. So here in 15 years or so, we're going to have a Bush and an Earnhardt fighting it out in the Cup Series, hopefully. So Jeffrey's first race was at the Horn Division at Wyatt Raceway in Virginia. He had three wins, finished top five in points. The next season, he moved up to the Sportsman Division, finished top ten in points. In 2016, he was in part of the GM Driver Development. He uh, ended up testing the Bush car and an Arca car. And in, 20, in 2007, he was actually picked part of the driver development program for GM. He started racing for Andy Santaya Racing in the Bush East Series, which he won most popular driver in 2007. He finished fifth in points. And the champion of the Bush East Series in 2007, your 2022 NASCAR Cup Series champion, Joey Logano. Now, Jeffrey only ran a few full, full seasons a few times. He ran the 2007 full ARCA East Series, Bush East Series then, 2014 NASCAR Xfinity. He ran in the uh, 2011 and 12 and 24 hours of Daytona. He ran for Rick Ware Racing in the GT class, finished 11th and 38th. In 2015, he drove for the NASCAR Wheeling Euro Series Elite One. Two races, finished 20th and 7th. 2016, he ran the NASCAR Penalty Series, one race, and finished 7th. So those series, the Euro Series is over, obviously over in Europe, and then the Penalty Series is the Canadian Series. Now, during that 2007 era, when he was driver development for GM, he was actually driving for Dale Earnhardt Incorporated when they merged with uh, Chip Ganassi and um, Bobby Ginn. They end up, he ended up getting a release from his contract. We can thank Teresa Earnhardt for that. Um, now, I would tell you, Jeffrey Earnhardt is an uber talented driver. He drove in the Arkham Menard Series, Bush Series East, 2007 to 2009, 25 starts, 9 top 5s, 13 top 10s. In that 2007, his rookie season, he finished 15 points. In 2008, his best career finish came when he finished second at Watkins Glen. He was in the Truck Series from 2010 and 2011, 10 races, one top 10. His best finish was the 2011 Daytona race. He finished 11th. He was in the Xfinity Series 2009, 2011 through 2020, 2015, and then 2019 through 2022. At first, the only full season he had in Xfinity Series was in 2014. He finished 18th in points. His best ever finish in the Xfinity Series came in 2022 at Daytona, the fall race. He finished second driving a Forever Lawn number three for RCR with Larry Mack on the pit box. What could have been that day if he could have got the victory? Who knows? Um, in 2019, he drove seven races in the Xfinity Series, one top five, three top tens, five top 20s. In the Cup Series, he ran from 2015 through 2019. His best finish was 11th at Daytona in 2018. He had 76 career Cup Series starts. Now, last year in the Xfinity Series, he only raced 13 races. Nine of those came from Sam Hunt Racing. He had 13 starts, one top five, two top tens, all together. But the nine races with Sam Hunt Racing, one top ten, six top twenties. Now, we, I thought 
as a fan that he got his big break back in 20, I think it was 2018. He had signed with XCI Concepts. They were going to run a Toyota in the Xfinity Series with technical support from Joe Gibbs. He had actually had some Joe Gibbs starts that year as well. And he actually ran really well. Jeffrey is one of those drivers. So when he, let me just go back here. So in 2019, he drove for Joe Gibbs a number 18 Toyota, sixth place at Atlanta, third at Charlotte. He drove for XCI Racing, eighth at Texas, 16th at Chicago. He drove in the Cup race for XCI Racing in 2019. He finished 22nd at Talladega. If I know we can say that for everybody, if he could have kept for our, for Joe Gibbs Racing then what could have been. If he could have got a full-time ride for RCR after finishing second at Daytona with Larry Mack on the pit box, what could have been? I'm a big fan of Jeffrey Earnhardt. I think he's one of those drivers that the system has worked for him. Because right now in NASCAR, you have to have a sponsor, and then you get a ride. Unlike, you know, back in the day where you could get a ride, hope to get a sponsor. He does have a sponsor in Forever Lawn. He will drive full-time in 2023 for Alpha Prime Racing, the number 44 in the Xfinity car. This team in 2022, 33 starts, 1 top 10, 12 top 20, 23 top 30s. Now, I had said on social media that I consider this team a Tier 3 car. Now, if you look at the Tier 1 cars being the ones that win races, the ones that are guaranteed a spot in the playoffs, and then you look at the drivers such as Daniel Hem or not Daniel Hemrick, um, Lanny Castle, um, Brandon Brown, um, Jeremy Clemens, those kind of guys who kind of are right there in the top 20, like 13th to 18th in points kind of guys as the tier two guys, and then anybody 20th and down in points as the tier three guys. That's why I would consider this team a tier three. In my book, Jeffrey Earnhardt's a tier one driver. I hope that Tommy Joe Martins and Alpha Prime Racing can get some good, have good equipment, which they had before. With a good driver, they can do something. You know, if I ever, I always said if I ever won the big lottery, you know, the three, four, hundred, five hundred million dollar lottery, I was gonna start me a race team. In all three, all, all, all the series: NASCAR, Xfinity, Truck, ARCA, Late Model, Modified. Jeffrey Hernard would be a driver that I would hire, first driver. No doubt in my mind. I'm that talented. I'm hoping the best for him in 2023. But that is a driver profile of the second ever fourth generation NASCAR Cup Series driver this year. Xfinity Series driver Jeffrey Earnhardt. The son of Kerry Earnhardt. The grandson of Dale Earnhardt Sr. And the great grandson of Ralph Earnhardt. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader. Sports Channel content.